Okay, I've completed row 16 where you have 54 stitches all around and now for row 17 and 18 you're gonna get uh, 54 stitches again because you're gonna do single crochet all around. Fif uh, 17 and 18 we're gonna do single crochet all around. So you're gonna get 54 stitches. So I'll come back to you once I've completed row 18. Okay, I've completed row 18. So now row 19. Row 19, the first set is uh, 22 stitches followed by an increase. So from here until here, you do 22 single crochet and the last one is an increase. Followed by 10 single crochet followed by an increase. 10 single crochet increase. And the last one, you only have 9 single crochet and there's no increase. So if you're a beginner, you think that 3 colors is too much because at the back here, it gets tangled up. I have to entangle them every row. So for beginners, maybe you can start with just 2 colors. Learn how to change color, just 1 color. So now I'm doing 2 colors. Anyway, the written pattern does not write down when to change color, so at least you are at ease where you want to change color. You do not have to follow strictly like where and when to change color. Now, okay, now we're going to do row 19. And row 19, you're going to get 57 stitches all around. Please count your stitches every row. Just in case you make mistake and before it's too late. I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of row 19. Okay, now for row 20 to 24, we're going to do a single crochet all around. Just one single crochet in each stitch. So you're going to get 57 stitches all around. And after that, we're, go we're going to start to do decrease. So this is already half of the rabbit. And you will need quite a lot of stuffing because this is quite a big rabbit. Okay, so from row 20 to 24, do single crochet all around. And I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of row 24. Okay, now we're going to do row 25. Row 25, we're going to do decrease. We're going to do a decrease. Followed by 7 single crochet. And then we're going to do a decrease. Followed by 8 single crochet. This is one set. So you do again another set. Seven, decrease, 7 single crochet. Decrease, 8 single crochet. So all in, you're going to do 3 sets. 3 sets. Okay, our, our first decrease. Decrease, I'm going to do invisible decrease. Go through the front loop. And then the front loop. Yarn over. Yarn over. This is my decrease. So after the decrease, I'm going to do 7 single crochet. I'm just changing color randomly. No fix rule. And if you think changing color during two together is difficult, you just don't do two together. When you change color, you just do the same color. Like now, I change color first before I do my two together. Because whenever I see my marker, my marker indicates that I'm going to start with a decrease. A decrease means a two together. 
means you go through the front loop and a front loop yarn over and yarn over and then you continue with the other few sets and then I'll come back to you at the end of the row okay I've completed row 26 where we have single crochet in each and 51 in total so now we're gonna do row 27 row 27 we're gonna do a decrease first means these two we're gonna do a two together followed by six single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet six times then we're gonna do a decrease and single crochet from here to here seven times so it's decrease six and decrease seven you're gonna have three sets of it one two three and all in you're gonna get 45 stitches all around so here if you want to change color you can change first before you do a decrease or if you don't mind doing decrease while changing color I'm going to do invisible decrease use a front loop and a front loop this is a decrease add my marker after decrease it's going to be 6 single crochet Okay, I wish to change color here. I want a brown more. Hold on to it so that when you yarn over, you will not yarn over too much. Lock it first, meaning you do a single crochet to lock it first. Here is loosen. Let's pull the yarn at the back. Pull this yarn. Tighten the top here. And pull the back. So everything will tighten here. For those who are interested to do this pattern, if you don't mind at the end of the at the end of your project maybe you can leave me a photo of your rabbit let me know how your rabbit look like in the comment section okay now I'm gonna do an invisible decrease followed by seven single crochet make sure those yarns at the back do not get tangled up so much Sometimes while you are doing increase or decrease and change color at the same time, we will lost count. But with a marker, at least I know when I'm going to do my next decrease. Okay, I'll come back to you at the end of the row. Okay, I've completed row 27 where I have 45 stitches all around. So now I'm going to go to row 28. Row 28, we're going to go uh, decrease. We're going to do a decrease, followed by 5 single crochet, and then a decrease, followed by 6 single crochet. So you're going to have 3 sets, same like as before, you're going to have 3 sets, and all around you're going to have 39 stitches. So from now on, it's decre uh, decrease all the way. We're halfway there. Okay, we're gonna do a decrease first. Pull 
Okay, after the decrease, there are going to be five single crochet. So after five single crochet, I reach my marker here. That means I'm going to do a decrease again. the decrease we're gonna do six single crochet and the critical part is here because sometimes I said when you change color you think that this is one stitch actually it should be here so that is why we should count our stitches at the end of each row just in case Okay, continue to do three sets of these and I'll come back to you at the end of the row. Okay, we're gonna go to row 29 now. We're gonna do a decrease, a decrease, followed by four single crochet, and then a decrease, followed by five single crochet. This is one set, and you have to do three sets. So decrease, four single crochet, decrease. 5 single crochet so we're gonna start with a decrease okay add back the marker Let me do a decrease. Followed by five single crochet. Repeat the same with all in, you're gonna get 33 stitches all around. Don't forget to pull this tight because once you change color, you're gonna loosen. Okay, now we're gonna do row 30. Row 30, we're gonna do a decrease. Decrease followed by three single crochet. Here will be decrease followed by four single crochet. This is one set, so you're gonna do two set, three set. We're gonna do decrease, means a two together. 
followed by three single crochet. do a decrease followed by four single crochet continue the same pattern until the end of the round okay I've completed row 30 row 30 you will have 27 stitches all around so now row 31 you're gonna do a decrease followed by two single crochet and here decrease followed by three single crochet so this is one set two set three set so all in you're gonna do three sets and here you're gonna get 21 stitches all around this is almost to the end as you can see the hole is smaller and this is how it looked like from the, the inside I'm not sure if you can see this is how this is how it looks like inside there's no pulling of yarn here and there Okay, we're going to do a decrease, oops, let me add my marker, follow by two single crochet. you do an increase oh maybe I should change color here a decrease pull this tight Followed by three single crochet, and you continue until the end of the row. Okay, I've add some stuffing. Later on, I'm gonna add more before the last seal. You're gonna need a lot of stuffing because this rabbit is kind of big. Okay. Now the second last row, row 32, we're going to do another decrease. This time it's going to be decrease, means the two together, followed by one single crochet. And then you're going to do decrease and two single crochet. So this is one set. So decrease, one single crochet, decrease, two single crochet. You're going to do three sets. Okay, we're going to start with a decrease. Followed by one single crochet. Decrease followed by two single crochet, and you carry on with another two more sets. And come, I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of the row. 
Okay, this is the time to add more stuffing if you want because this is the last row. The head is going to sit here and here is the tail. We're going to make a tiny tail here to seal this hole. So here, the last row, we're going to do two degrees, means two together, two together, and one single crochet. Two together, two together, one single crochet. So all in, you're going to do three sets. So this is going to be the last row. I'm going to seal this. Okay, we're going to do two together, or you can call it decrease, and one more time. And do a single crochet. Do two together. Do another two together, or you can call it decrease. This is the time you have to hold it this way. And one single crochet. And just the last part. Two together. Another two together. And a single crochet. You still see a small hole here. So normally what I do is... I'll cut the yarn. the needle and see all the front loop here and just take all the front loop You will have nice stitches all around just now. So we're gonna go through all nine front loop and then we just pull. And this one we can just hide it anyway. So when you're hiding it this way, do not pull too tight. Do not pull too tight. And this is where the head will sit. So you can just make a few stitches here if you don't mind. And that's it. And we have the body. Next, we're going to do the head. The head, I'm going to do two colors too. The feet and the tail, well, it's up to you whether you want to do two color or just one color. Depending if you still have the color yarn. If not, you can just do one color. It's okay. So this is how the body look like. And this is where the head's going to sit. 